Earlier on BMF Season 2 Episode 6, Meech and Terry travel from Atlanta to Detroit with a product and a fresh strategy to blanket the city with BMF merchandise. Meech joins forces with Sterling, the PA boys, and Lamar in an effort to finish off Lamar. Meech and Terry focus on the larger picture in the penultimate episode of BMF Season 2 Episode 7. Changing from being consumers to suppliers. They have to arrange a conference with the Colombians behind K9's back in order to accomplish this. K9 shot his own mother in the cranium for stealing money from him because he is so brutal, though she lived. What would he do to the BMF siblings if he shot his mother? The siblings communicate with the Colombians by using K9's cousin, who was acting out of sorts. Although the cousin had ulterior intentions, she made the connection. Meech, a womanizer, was distracted, seduced, knocked out, and robbed of their guns and money as soon as Meech and Terry landed in St. Thomas. They later discovered that the Colombians had ordered the diversion in order to eliminate the couple. They eventually met with the plug and originally agreed to a price of 100 bricks, but were instead given a consignment offer of 300 bricks of raw cocaine. They didn't need to smuggle the bricks back into the country because they were already there, sweetening the bargain. K9 had to be killed as part of the agreement, but Meech persuaded the plug that this would be terrible for business. They killed K9's cousin because they anticipated that he would attempt to cross them when they got home. Meech and Terry entered K9's workplace and informed the staff there of what they had done to save his life. The psychopath acknowledged it and gave them the master salute. Meech noticed Charles in the club and gave him a disappointed look when Mabel took Charles there and requested a lap dance. Charles departed right away. Meech promised to keep his father's identity a secret when the two later spoke. Blackie, the dog Lamar nursed back to health, soon developed serious illness, and a veterinarian advised Lamar to put him to sleep. Lamar was so upset that he took the animal to Pastor Swift's church in search of immediate relief, but he was met by Swift brandishing a 45 Magnum pistol and a group of deacons shooing the lunatic away. When Terry got back from St. Thomas, he found out Lawanda was expecting their second child. However, debt. Bryant had shown her images of him and Markisha engaging in sexual activity in a motel, so she confronted him and left him once more. Terry reconnected with Markisha, but he blew the opportunity by failing to comprehend her problems with her abusive spouse and by failing to provide for her when she was in need. B. Mickey was taken hostage in the most recent installment. We believed it to be Lamar. To recover the stolen bricks, debt. Bryant however abducted B. Mickey and gave his confidential informant a tough lesson. Bryant and Jin created a fake batch to buy some time before they had to return the drug proof. After being imprisoned in a vehicle trunk for a few days, B. Mickey was eventually let out, and after Byron had taken his mother back to the filthy nursing home, he discovered his mother had passed away. This infuriated him, 